Good evening, friends. It's a very, very hot night here on the third floor of my building at the end of the earth, so I thought I'd cool off and jump into the sky and earn my pilot's wings. I have a genuine pilot wings cartridge that I probably picked up at, oh, I don't know, the last, 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 very last, final, no, we really mean it this time, last game store, one of them anyway in Halifax. So, I have to push down and select, and run the cartridge. Well, guess we start at the beginning. Join the Flight Club now! Do you ever dream of flying? The Flight Club offers a variety of aerial sports to thrill and challenge you. Dare to take the first step and earn your license. Okay. Hi, I'm Tony, and I'll be your instructor for Area 1. Our lessons will cover a few basics, landing an airplane and skydiving for accuracy. Okay. Complete two objectives, score 120 or more to pass. Okay, I usually like to start with the one that I'm going to have the most difficulty with, but these are both pretty easy, so let's just start with the light lane. Follow the green glide path, then land on the runway. How do we score? Let's press B and find out. Yes, uh, so the faster, faster you go with these challenges, it tends to be better for you. And A for the controls, down to go da down to go up and up to go down. Basically, what you need to know. A throttle up, B throttle down. All right, let's go. Now here, there's no wind, so don't don't hit left or right at all. Just get yourself down into these green thingies. Just line it up, just so. Actually, I should be going faster, because I want to do this fast, right? Right. Okay, let's start turning the throttle down. Forty-five seconds, was that fast enough? It was! Full marks. You are almost certified! Oh yeah, and he also said, wow, what a knockout! Gotta remember to do the voices. Okay, uh, yeah, so we're gonna continue. We'll need 20 points to qualify, so basically, we get down to the ground alive, we're, we're golden. Uh, maneuvers A. Right, flare by pressing down. Scoring. One ring for five points, all three for 20 points. Let's give a time limit though. Now you can press A to skip these, but I'm only gonna do that for replays. We'll let you see the glory of the whole flight area as we go up into the sky. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up. We're going to do a real nose dive here. Okay, that was pretty easy. Now, I don't like to open my chute right when it says to. I like to leave it a little bit. Because, you know, I, I hate having to go around in circles again and again. It's a pain in the neck. Okay, so I'm holding down quite a bit here because I'm trying to scrub altitude, but I'm not trying to do... Okay, here we go. Okay, full marks again. Wow, what a knockout! Congratulations! You are now certified! 
This document certifies that you have earned an international A-class license to fly. Your license number is your password, number 985206. My name is Shirley, and your next lesson will feature the rocket belt. In flight, to shift to an overhead view, press the LR buttons. Complete three objectives, score 220 or more to pass. Okay, rocket belt can be kind of a splash, so maybe we want to do that one first. Uh, maybe we should do skydiving first. You could probably run into trouble with that, so let's do skydiving. Maneuver through the five rings, land inside the yellow target area. And we've already talked about maneuvers. Well, scoring might be a little different. One ring, all five. Okay. Anyway, let's go. And we'll look at the glorious flight area, too. So this, that's what I meant about, about uh, Rocket Belt being a splash. The skydiving landing area is also the Rocket Belt landing area. Now with the rocket belt, if you decide you're getting a little too low, you're getting close to the water, you can always turn on the gas, although that's easier said than done, I guess. But uh, skydiving, uh, you're going down and that's pretty much, you know, there's no, uh, there's no back, oh, oh, can we, can we get this one? Oh, darn, missed it. Okay, so we're not going to get a perfect score this time. Oh, 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 we got a fl Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, I screwed the pooch on that one. I should use better language. Okay. Um, he landed just a little off target. Boy, I'll say. Okay, so that is... With this score, you might not be certified. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so we're going to retry. And we'll try this again. And maybe it's B to skip the going up anyway. That is why I did this first. And there's a, a fourth type of thing to do that we'll see in the next flight area. And that's usually the one I always do first when I when in the flight areas that include it. Skydiving is close second. Just I'm, I'm, a, I'm more of a fan of the powered flight options because they, they, they let you fix your mistakes. Now you can land on those yellow, that yellow thing there, and it's a it's worth a hundred points. Plus, it's a bonus game. I think we'll have to settle for 60 here. Fantastic! I won't judge by appearance. What does she mean by that? Great work. Keep it up. All right, continue. Now, make sure you don't hit retrive. Sometimes you, you spend so... You, you just get muscle memory to go into retry, and you forget that you got a good score, and so you're restarting the whole area again. That's happened to me a few times. Okay, rocket belt, let's go. Fly through the three rings, land on target. Lose points for landing early. We got fast jets on the A button and slow jets on the B button. LR, I, that's like an overhead view you can go into with LR. I hardly ever use it. And, yeah. Scoring. Under two minutes for 20 more points, okay. Let's make it quick. So I generally always do all my flying around with the fast jets. I'll only use the slow jets if I'm trying to come into trying to land on the bonus platform, which is just like skydiving. It's worth a hundred points. Uh, so like, um, I mean like just for landing on it. So you could like take forever, you know, as long as you didn't run out of fuel and like you know, make a mess of things, land on that, and still get 100 points. So it's like everything else you did didn't matter. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to go for that, though. I'm just going to go for the 
I'm just gonna go for the 70. So it's easier to hit stationary targets than moving ones. I never expected you to do so well. Well, hey. Great work, keep it up. Okay, so there's not much left to do for the plane. This should be pretty much don't crash and we'll and we'll win. Uh, 10 points per ring, fish. What they don't tell you here is that there's two runways, either the right or the left runway. So if you land on the shorter one over to the right, you get more points than if you land on the longer one on the left. So we're gonna speed things up a bit. I don't think there's any wind in this course, but it's not the easiest thing to do to land straight here because you're coming in from this weird angle. I suppose you could always come around for another pass, but you'd probably lose a lot of points. Okay, there we go. That'll do. It's not perfect, but it'll definitely get us out of this area. I'll admit it, your skill is improving. I don't know, that's the worst score I've gotten yet of the three, but anyway. Congratulations! You're becoming very good! This document certifies that you have earned an international B-class license to fly. Your license number is your password. Number 394391. Your instructor Lance here. Now, we will try flying the hang glider. One thing to remember, after completing your objective, land! Complete three objectives, score to 20 or more to pass. Okay, hang glider. This is the bane of my existence. Ride thermal current to at a, ah, ride thermal current to altitude of 500 feet, then land on target. Maneuvers! Flare, quick turn, left, right, nose down, nose up. Scoring! Complete lesson in our two minutes for 30 points. Okay, let's get for let's get that 30 points. We might not land in the landing area, but we'll get our 30 points. So you gotta go up to 500 feet, and we should be able to do it on the first one. Just sort of just sort of pushing up a little bit here and there, just not really trying to stay 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 afloat okay let's put her down so I'm going going down pretty steeply here okay I'm gonna ease off a bit okay this is just so okay stop 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 okay he's in bounds so that'll be decent so it was the A button at the end to pull him up. Ooh, 90 points. I guess they're pretty forgiving with like the, they're more forgiving than skydiving with the, with the, with the, the different scoring rings. Oh, that's just great. Okay, it seems so easy now, doesn't it? Okay, so Rocket Belt's another place to make a splash. So let's get that out of the way. Beams are a little harder to touch. They're well, they're, they're beams. They're not rings that you fly through. I think this might be this might be one of the very first times I'm running a running a different cartridge other than the. SD to Super NES <laughs> in the analog NT. I'm kind of like, or Super NT. I'm like happy that this works. And, uh, you know, it works a lot better. This particular cartridge works a lot better than it did on my real Super Nintendo. My, my real Super Nintendo needs, needs some TLC. It's one of those, it's an old uh, three chip design, but that's, it's just, it's just in generally not, not in good working order. 
Um, well, I could go for that little island, but I think I'm just gonna... We'll just go with the conservative play here. Oh, that, that wasn't good. It's a little bit off target. 75. Will that be enough? Very nice. I need 55. Okay, I can do that. Okay, you're doing okay, but you can do better. Yeah. We'll get through this plane business. Finish in under 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Okay, so this is... There's, there's a fair amount going on here. You probably kind of need to play through this course a few times. So we got full throttle, pushing on the down button to get our plane up in the air. So some of these it's pretty gentle, the maneuvers, and then some other ones would be like, oh, I guess I really gotta, I really gotta push it. But I would say the thing to do here is to not overdo it. Like, if you miss a ring, it's no big deal. A lot better to miss one ring than to, like, crash or miss several rings, you know, trying to get... if you get too crazy with your corrections. It's interesting how the ocean texture sort of disappeared there. I wonder if it'll come back. I guess it, I guess it figures we're so high, we're high enough that we shouldn't see water texture. Okay, I'm expecting to see water texture. I don't see it. I wonder if that's just a funny glitch. If we come back the other way and discover like there's no land or anything, then maybe this... Oh, there we go. Okay. Was it okay enough? Yes. Wonderful. Your skills have earned you your certification. This document certifies that you have earned an international silver license to fly. Your license number is your password, number 520771. By the way, these do not change every time you play, so you could just... You could just use that number and skip right to this level. Big Al is my name, and reviewing your past lessons is my game. I will help you to perfect the skills necessary for you to earn certification. Complete four objectives, score 300 or more to pass. So this is like the greatest hits level. You've got everything going on here. Okay, if I get this, if I get all of these in one try, it'll be a miracle. But let's start with the hang glider. Fly through the ring at 300 feet twice, then land on target. Okay, so this is gonna take... This is probably gonna... If we're lucky, we'll get through this ring on the first go. You have to hold down quite a bit to make it into the ring. And then you have to ride the thermal to get in it again. I don't want to hold down too much, but I was holding down a good portion of that, like not like I was letting up a bit here and there, but you get the hang of it. Because we're hang gliding. <laughs> of course you get the hang of it. <laughs> get it? <sighs> I mean, I, re I really should do comedy. Okay, uh, this part I don't like. Wandering around. Where the heck is this ring? Okay, here we go. Can we get us? I think we can get us. Okay, now. Um, 
Okay, so that over on the left is where I want to land. So I think I'll just go I'll just go out a little bit. Okay, now I'll turn in sharply. This is not where I want to be. Is there a thermal? Get up there, get up, 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 Oh, great, 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 great. Put her down, put her down. Okay. Uh, that is hard. You did well, but you can do even better. Need 215 points to qualify. Be proud, you've done very well. Okay, so we're gonna we're looking in the 70, 80 range for points that we're gonna need here. Because uh seven threes are twenty-one, so um let's see, do you wonder what I wanna do next? I guess I could try skydiving and go for the bonus. A rocket belt and go for the bonus. Um, of course, if I just like completely stick the skydiving, that would be cool. Okay, so let's do skydiving. This is also hard. Okay, but this time you're not, you don't land on the. Yeah, the, so it's skydiving and rocket belt that share that little area there. <laughs> it's pitiful. There's a lot of rings to maneuver through. I mean, if we get desperate, we can go for the bonus. Okay, kind of have to start backing up to get into this ring. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, that's good. I often miss those. Okay. Okay, go a little farther. Ah, put her down, put her down, put her down, put her down! Okay. Eh, it's a little off target, but... 70. Awful close, but your performance was passable. It uh, means we're going to need some more points. 145 points. If you do your best, you stand a chance. Yeah, just a chance. Um, so we do rocket belt and go for the bonus, I think, at this point. Got some bouncy rings that we gotta go through first before we. Oh, okay. That's later. I'm thinking of a different, a different flight area. Spoiler alert: there's more. Okay, see that floating thing? Well, you know what though, if I got like, if I really stick the landing here, if I get it right in the middle, then I should, I should do like, I should get 80 or 90 points. And if I do that, then, you know, I should, I shouldn't have to do crazy well on the, Yeah, no, that's not what I wanted. 80, okay. You did well, but you can do even better. 
Need 65 points. Okay. You still have a chance, but just barely. Eh, I think I can do better. I think I can do 65 on the plane. Okay. Let's do this. Fly plane under each arch and land on the runway. We gotta land nicely though, like we gotta put it we gotta put it in the put it in the middle of the runway. the arch. I think I just need to fly through it once. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go out and use use these red balls as a guide. I like to think I flew out far enough says. Okay, tight, tight, tight. Okay, to roll off. Okay. I think I can do this. I think we got this. Okay, cross your fingers. 65 or bust. Three. You did well, but you can do even better. But I did well enough. Magnificent. You have earned certification. This document certifies you have earned an international gold license to fly. Your license number is your password, number 108048. Excellent. We have some bad news. Tony, Lance, and Shirley, while en route to Izanu Island, were captured by the evil syndicate based there. For political reasons, our military authorities cannot attempt a rescue. You are the only flight club member whose rating is near what is required for operating the rescue helicopter. Will you go? No, I won't do it. Do not be such a coward. I now ask you again. No, you should go. I'm licensed for motorcycles, not helicopters. I forgot. Chickens cannot fly. I think he just says that again and again. Okay. But thou must. Okay. Take off immediately. Secret Command. Our agent has infiltrated enemy headquarters on Izanu Island. Your instructors have been freed and await rescue at the heliport. Using the radar as a guide, infiltrate the airspace and rescue them. LR Missile. Oh boy. Speed up, speed down. Nose up, nose down. Okay, so this is... Tricky. You'll find out why. Everybody's kind of got their own secret sauce for getting through this level. Mine uh, may still need a few taste tests and revisions. Okay, see that? Those things shoot at you, so shoot them first. And they're everywhere. There's even little ones too. See that? That's a little tiny one. That's a little tiny one. Crud. Hmm. 
Am I seeing things? I thought that was one of those. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm just seeing things because they there are little ones out here. Okay. Anyway, we got on our radar. The red dot is where the base is. That's what I meant by the little ones. Those guys are the worst. And there's another one up here, isn't there? Yep. Oh, and yes, there's uh, spoiler alerts. There's hidden ones. Peace. It's been nice knowing you. Okay, anyway, puts in your password for you and press start a bunch of times and let's try this again. Do you think we can do this tonight? I should I should like set off like a cutoff of ten attempts and then I'll do and then I'll do a recording <laughs> where I'll just I'll just post my successful attempt. I'm on, I'm surprised I got through flight area four on the first try. Really, I just had to believe in myself. Because a lot of the times when I'm just playing casually, I like I'm like, ah, oh, I'm gonna go for the bonus or bust. You know, I don't actually just try to finish all four, all four challenges legitimately. But I did this time, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's pretty forgiving on the missile hit. Yeesh. So yeah, probably more forgiving for them than it is me. They have to You get that handy little beep to, to tell you when to fire. I don't know if it works for those hidden ones. Okay, so we gotta be. Oh, that's good. We got that. Okay, so we're starting to get into the real meat of it here. Oh. Oh, we're coming in the back way. I usually, I usually come in the front. Or, well, the other side, but. Yes, see, that's what I'm talking about. Those things. And there's lots. Yeesh! That's all of them? It's all of them in this area, I think. Uh, I think I'm gonna risk landing.
And landing this thing is not easy. Not at all. And it takes... Because, you know, you got this... They thoughtfully surrounded the helipad by water, for one thing. And it's like, okay, I'm descending too fast, so I want to pick, I want to pick things up a bit. It takes a long time before you can see your shadow in the H. See my shadow. Okay, now I'm starting to go up. I don't want to do that. more juice. After all that, to put it in the water would have been intolerable. Rescue successful! You have done a terrific job. For an outstanding performance, I award you Silver Pilot's Wings. recognition of your distinguished deeds, you are awarded Silver Pilot's Wings, number 400718. Oh, I love this. It's like getting another game again. So, yep, we'll continue. 400718, that's us. This time, we will practice the skills that you learned in your first lesson. However, this time, you must try flying in some cold winter weather. Cold winter weather? That's what I would like. Anyway, I am going to leave this for next time, this will be this will be a two-part series. So I'm going to stop the recording and we'll come back next time for Pilot Wings Expert. <laughs>